Welcome to Laminis.com in our lab video series on Cisco ACI 6.0. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of ACI videos, you can visit our website under Data Center section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. If you watched our last video, when we talked about a typical ACI multipod deployment, one of the requirements is the interpod network or IPN which is a layer 3 routed network that connects the pods together. Setting up an IPN, however, certainly adds more work to the overall configuration. The good news is, starting ACI version 523, if you intend to have only two ACI pods in your environment, you no longer need an IPN. Instead, spines can be connected directly in a back-to-back -back fashion, and this is what we are going to show you in our first configuration video. First, let me give you a quick rundown of our lab setup. What we have here, for the most part, came from our ACI 6.0 Advanced video series. So if you have watched that video series, you should already be familiar with our setup here. One modification that we have made is we have moved the second leaf switch, which is this guy right here, into our pod number two. So pod one is left with only one leaf and one spine, while pod two, we're also going to have one leaf and one spine. And because of that, anything that used to be dual uplink will now become a single uplink. But otherwise, we still have the same number of overall spines and leaf switches. We have one APIC on the left-hand side, APIC number one, with both uplinks to port 49 and 50 on leaf one. So that way it doesn't generate a fault complaining that it has one of the two interfaces down. We have our LM R1 right here as a test router connected to port one of leave one, we have an ESXi server running our test VMs to port three and four with port three using as a management for the most part. I guess we do have some application VMs on that too, but in the physical domain, port four, however, is being used with the VMware VDS uplink in the VMM integration. We do have a vCenter back in the VMM integration video integrated to our APIC. We have an L3 out that comes out of port 47 of leaf one that goes to our lab core switch, switch one, which in turn provide access to the internet. All right, and then port two, like I said, we have one spine, one leaf, and the same LMR1 router that connects to that. So this is what we are dealing with in this video. Let me give you a quick overview of the feature. While back-to-back -back spine multipod alleviates you from provisioning an IPN and all the extra configuration that comes with it, as you will see in the future video when we bring up a full-blown IPN. There are limitations that you would need to keep in mind when it comes to back-to-back -to -back spine connection for your multipod. First, you need ACI version 523 in order for these features to be available. The feature only supports maximum of two pods, like I mentioned earlier. If you need more than that, then you will have to migrate to IPN which is disruptive. You need a generation two spine switch as that's the only type of switch will be supported. And so no gen one in this topology. You must run OSPF as the underlay with MPBGP on the overlay. And the MACSEC is also supported if you'd like to enable layer two encryption between the spines. The features is incompatible with the back-to-back -back spine connections or multi-site, remote leave, golf, Cloud ACI and APIC over layer three. And if you closely look at those sets of features, those are the one that requires IPN. For the connections between spine, it is recommended for you to have full mesh. Although partial mesh is certainly supported. For example, if you have two spines, even though in our lab we only have one, I kind of show in the diagram that what it looks like if you were to have two spines, then you will have four connections that go between the two pairs of spine like this. Right, so you will cross from 1 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 1, and then 2 to 2. As you see in the dotted line, the other three additional links if you were to have the second spine. For us, we have that one connection that goes directly between our spine 1 on the left and spine 2 on the right. And they're connected on port 34. 